so uh, dear colleagues um, uh, so first of all i want to introduce again myself it's uh, i'm olga morozova uh, professor at national space university Kharkiv aviation institute and uh, today i would like to present for your attention um, a presentation for the topic uh, development of a web system for recognizing the images taken by uav so what question we will discuss for today it will be um, statement first of all statement of the problem uh, then uh, about machine learning which we can use now uh, in web development uh, about web system architecture and uh, about how we developed this web application and of course at the end of my uh, report will be conclusions so first of all about statement of the problem or why we decide to um, consider such um, problem uh, as uh, a recognition of images taken uh, from UAV. So nowadays, web publication are using for everyone's sphere and every day of our life. Uh, we look uh, some information in uh, internet and we use it you know, for every moment. Especially the great interest of IT engineer is using of uh, um, machine learning in uh, web development. Uh, in addition, uh, UAV, also known some as drone or quadrocopter, is a popular gadget in uh, today's world that people actively use for aerial photography. No, nowadays, it's also used not for such um, goal, but uh, no, it's very popular. So thanks uh, to new technologies, we can connect these parts and create a website that will use a machine learning model uh, to recognize images taken uh, by UAVs. So some um, information about uh, what uh, models of machine learning which we can use in web development. So um, Web development has opportunity to progress with use of machine learning capabilities in projects. Uh, it could be used from analyzing information more accurately and correctly to increasing development capabilities. Uh, the technology of efficient net that was first introduced by Tan and Lee, uh, it's about three years ago, is the most efficient model that uh, reaches accuracy on image classification transfer learning tasks. There are several models uh, from B0 uh, to B7 that represents a good combination of efficiency and accuracy on a variety of scales. As a result, the deep width and resolution of each variant of the efficient net models um, had uh, pinged uh, and uh, proven to produce good results through the maybe uh, significantly or from the compound scaling formula. So in our um, work, we select model B0, B0 for use uh, and uh, now uh, in this uh, web system architecture, uh, you can see how they um, connect to each other. So uh, we create a model, uh, we are connected by stream lead, uh, then uh, we load model and library. Uh, after that, uh, we uh, made some web development with use of Python. Uh, it's what everything was used for creating a web application. And for deploying this web application, we use technology Heroku. Uh, so, uh, first of all, for uh, web development, it was used uh, Python as programming language and uh, Heroku as deployment platform. Uh, and um, the client part was also implemented as a single page uh, web application uh, using the streamed uh, stream lead library. Uh, let's consider what these two uh, the most important technologies for this work, stream lead and Heroku is mean. I mean, um, so first of all, uh, why we use stream lead? Because it's a library that helps develop web application using machine learning. It could be connected to each other. And this library has all the necessary web components to create a convenient user interface. 
Uh, when we uh, finish this uh, web application, uh, we uh, for deploying use Heroku is cloud-based uh, platform as a service. Uh, that supports a number of programming languages. Uh, this is a model of providing cloud computing in which the uh, consumer gets access to the use of information technology platforms. Uh, it means it's operating systems, it's database management systems. Uh, this related software developed and testing tools are located in cloud providers. Um, now you can see uh, user actions of developed uh, web system. So uh, this system is uh, uh, web and you can uh, load it from the uh, one page uh, landing. Uh, it's uh, with already opened home page where you can upload image. You can uh, to make two main actions with it. It's a delete image and uh, load new one or recognize image and see results. And now I want to demonstrate you uh, these web applications. No, it's very uh, uh, easy and not so, uh, uh, no, uh, so difficult interface. It's only uh, no, to uh, draw uh, two uh, buttons, uh, but they a main for the uh, using in this uh, such uh, application. So we uh, drop image and then after it was um, uh, operating, we can see result. Uh, it's, uh, uh, there are many uh, objects which uh, the application found on this picture and it gives some um, also persons uh, how it uh, uh, no, really this object. For example, it find airport with uh, some um, percent, uh, no, there is 12 percent, it's so not big because it's picture made uh, no, uh, from ear and uh, it's because we see a uh, to planes, it could be airport, but we uh, not uh, exactly know it. Um, no, and so many another one also object it was find on this picture. Uh, in conclusions, uh, I want tell want to tell you that um, this project, namely a web application, was designed and developed to recognize images taken by UAVs. This system allows the user to conveniently view the collected information. Uh, the basic requirements for the functionality architecture and user interface of the web application developed within the framework uh, stream lead of this project have been formed and you can find it in our um, conference uh, proceedings, uh, all this uh, information also presented. Also, this project can be used as additional uh, middleware step in uh, machine login recognition images um, to allow users check result correctness. Uh, because no, it's uh, uh, for the future researchers, it's planned that it will be um, uh, not uploaded uh, by a user from the uh, web page. It will be uh, automatically gives from UAVs to the uh, this uh, recognition system uh, for uh, do it online. Um, so this is all information uh, for my uh, topic. Uh, maybe you have any question? Uh. All the fans uh, for your presentation and colleagues, we have uh, time for a few questions. Please, you're welcome. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned uh, the library Steamlit, yes? Yeah. And uh, I have a question about this library. Uh, do you know what is behind? What is the core of this library? What technology? Uh, it's uh, use um, technologies of uh, language Python for uh, realization and uh, it's uh, uh, technology is free of charge for use. You can use it uh, uh, if you want to know some more questions uh, for more information uh, for this question. Uh, you can uh, connect to my magistrant Oleg Krychenkov. It's one of the other uh, 
uh, of this uh, project uh, because I was for the concept uh, and theoretical information in our project. I it's his implementation. So if some more information, you can connect to him. Okay, thank you. Can I ask another question? Yes, of course. Please. Uh, so, uh, uh, what information uh, are you expect will be uh, you expect will uh, you expect will be given by UAV? So, image or maybe it's some um, digital representation. Uh, maybe it's some feature vector. Yeah, uh, this uh, model it could work uh, with um, uh, digital uh, information like no, like with a picture, but also uh, it can uh, operate with uh, no presentation it in another uh, form. Okay, thank you, uh, colleagues. Please other questions. You're, you're welcome. Okay, if nobody has questions, I will ask one question. Uh, what are specific uh, features of uh, images acquired from UAV uh, that uh, you had uh, to create a special web assembly to uh, process such kind of images? Uh, of course, uh, when we take a picture from the UAV, it could be not so... Uh, I have um, clear. clear, clear, yeah, not so clear. It could be with some damages, and uh, um, in the future, in our next uh, work, we will uh, take it into account that it could be with some uh, damages. Now, we load a good quality uh, picture, and it give uh, our some results. Uh, why we decide to make such system? Uh, because um, no, nowadays it's uh, very important uh, to find uh, different uh, uh, meaning. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, bombs. Uh, so that's why it will be a very useful uh, thing uh, when uh, we uh, could do it. Uh, for finding it uh, with some uh, percent uh, that it uh, this sink. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, and maybe somebody else. Okay, I see that no questions. Uh, okay, thank you for your presentation.